state second difference for the given quadratic functions. The functions are y equals to x square, y equals to minus 2x square, y equals to 3 times x minus 2 whole square minus 4, and y equals to x plus 3 times 2x minus 1. Now, as we discussed in the very first video, and I told you that the relation between the second difference and the quadratic function is that second difference, I'm writing like this, that means second difference is equals to 2 times a, the leading coefficient. Now with that formula, I can find second difference for all these equations in a minute. Now for me, the answers will be for the first one, here a value is 1, and therefore second difference will be 2. Now we are writing second difference for all our given functions. Here, the a value is minus 2. So let me write down the a value, which is 1 here, and second difference is 2. a value, the leading coefficient, right, is minus 2. When we say a, we are considering a function of the form y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. So this a value. Or if I write the function as a times x minus d whole square plus c, then that a value, right, the leading coefficient. So leading coefficient here is minus 2, and the second difference will be 2 times minus 2 will get minus 4. In this particular case, a value is 3, right? So a is 3, and therefore second difference will be 2 times 3, which is 6. Here, we need to find a. You will get a when you multiply these two x terms. You get 2x squared. And therefore, the a value is 2. And the leading coefficient is going to be 2 times 2 as 4. So you will see that the leading coefficient's sign is same as the sign of the second difference. Right? So second difference also tells you direction of opening for the parabola. If it is negative, that means it is going to open downwards and if it is positive it is going to open upwards right now as an exercise what I would like you to do is to make a table of values right make a table of values and find first and second difference you can make this table horizontally or vertically it is all up to you now what you should do is write on the x values from minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 these are our key sets of values for functions like x square and minus 2x square. And then you can write down the y values calculating from these formulas. So once you calculate, then you write first difference and second difference, correct? So once you find the second difference, you can confirm do you get the same result or not, right? Now in case you want to experiment and find out the second difference for such functions, in that case, your key values will be what? That is to be considered, right? So the x values here should be close to the vertex. Vertex is at 2, right? So you should consider one side of 2. That is good enough. Because of symmetry, we can take care of the other side also, right? So let's consider the values for this function as starting from 2. So it could be 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Find y value, calculate from the formula first difference and second difference and then check for yourself. Do you get the same second difference or not? So knowing the formula really helps. Knowing the formula you save all this time and you can write the answer in no time. It really helps to solve objective type questions and save you time, very precious time in the examination hall. I hope you appreciate that part. Thank you and all the best.